Flood. Drummer with the band Bellowhead. You may have seen us on the Paul O'Grady show a couple of weeks back when I got to do a jump percussion skit. Nothing too serious, just a, a gravy boat, a kitchen sink and a frying pan. And after the show I was deluged with emails and letters, everyone asking, how could I get to do that? Well now you can, because I'm going to show you. I'm going to make a series of monthly mini masterclasses in the noble art of jump percussion, giving you an insight into what it is and how you play it. And each month I'll make a new kit out of whatever junk I happen to have lying around. This month is metal stuff. Great, let's get on with it. <laughs> Now people often say to me, Pete, what are the three most important considerations when you're learning to play junk percussion? And I reply, tombra, tombra, tombra. Tombra, tombra, tombra. The very sound of your instruments. Now, all the technique in the world will count as nothing if you haven't the oral discernment to tell the difference between a truly great piece of junk percussion and a mere piece of trash. Now as you can see this kit here has been made in a fairly standard kit configuration. We've got a bass drum. This is made out of an Arabic paint tin. We've got a hi-hat made out of a Ikea cutlery drainer and an alarm bell. We've got toms made out of an ashtray and a round black thing. And we've got cymbals made out of aluminium trays. Now, just like a drum kit, it helps to have a range of frequencies at your disposal. So, my bass drum has a nice earthy thud to it. My toms have a range of pitches. My hi-hat's got a nice fizz. And finally my snare drum has got a lovely thwack to it. Now, The snare drum is arguably the most important drum on your kit, and I favour the use of a, a fruitcake tin. This one here is from the Collins Street Bakery in Corsicana, Texas. They make the best fruitcakes, and consequently they sound the best too. But it is a foolish fellow who puts all his eggs in one basket. And that's why I also have a 10 inch fruitcake tin from the Collins Street Bakery. Now you'll notice this one has both a lid and a base. So if I'm feeling in a sensitive kind of melancholy mood, I might play a, a power ballad on the lid. Whereas if I'm feeling spiritual, well, I'll just flip it over. Finally, and this is my favorite, apricot pecan cake, a very special cake. You can hear there are still some crumbs left in the tin. And that gives it a very gutsy, very versatile sound. You can even play jazz on it.
I'm going to go now. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Now there's a Bellowhead album out soon. You should buy it. It'll make you really happy. It's available in all the usual places. Please tune in next month when I'll be talking another load of old rubbish. Thank you and good night.